This is a quick tutorial on how to take an FMX 18 with an XV Capture 3.5. When you log in, you want to bridge to this page from your practice management software and those prompts that are associated with your office's practice management software. Once you're here, you can identify which version you're using in the upper left hand corner. Let's click on capture. And when you use that bridge that's associated with your particular software, your patient's information will auto populate here. I'm going to use my MRU, my most recently used list. It's going to populate like your last 20 patients that you saw. I'm going to use John Doe since I can't bridge over. I don't have everybody's uh, practice management software. And whether you're using digital sensors or phosphorus plates, Let's find the drop down menu. This is the modality and progressions. Progressions are our layouts. And let's find our FMX 18. You see the top part of this list is for your panoramic, your intraoral, your camera, which would be your intraoral camera. Let's choose FMX 18. And once we've verified who we're taking images on and we've decided on what type of images we're taking, Let's click on capture images. We then have to tell the software exactly what device we are using. So we do want to make sure that whatever sensor we have in our hand that we're going to use to acquire those images, it will be listed here and we want to make that selection. The lower part of the screen, you can see if you're importing an FMX 18 or if you're wanting to use your digital your, uh, the direct video, which is your intraoral camera, you can do that too. So select the device. My device is a simulator, simulates x-rays. And we're here. This is the most tried and true as far as time efficiency in taking an FMX 18. Starting on the upper right, you see the numbers on the tile. It's going to move in that numerical order. And then anteriors, and it takes the bite wings last. However, if you like to take your bite wings first, so the, the layout will always start on tile one. You see the name of the layout here in the upper left. If you want to do your bite wings first, that's great. Do those first. It's going to move 15, 16, 17, and 18, and then start again at tile one. Let's just do that. Let's just take the bite wings first. Again, when we're ready to take images, the start progression, that progression is key. It's going to progress in numerical order through this layout. Let's hit start progression capture. Sensor ready. Our sensor is going to tell us it's ready. Sensor ready. We can disable that voice if we want, or just turn your volume down on low. Now, if you want to retake an image on the fly, this upper right molar, if it's not correct, I can highlight that tile, take my image again, hope I get the apex. If I don't, highlight the tile, take it again. And when I'm satisfied, it will move on to your next image. So it's that easy to retake an image on the fly. We're going to demonstrate that one more time. This upper left molar shot. If I don't like it, highlight that tile. The sensor is ready. I take it again. We'll see those numbers in the lower corner. So I'm going to stop the sensor. My simulator moves so quickly. Uh, yours, your sensor will be ready for five minutes per image. You have five minutes per image. So if the sensor times out, we're going to be looking exactly what we're looking at right now. Uh, if your patient has to get up and leave the room, go to the bathroom, take a phone call, and they're out of your room for five minutes, or if we are pulled away from our patient, uh, that sensor will stay ready for five minutes. But at any point, if it is, if it gets into that unready mode, you can ready it again. Pick up where you left off on the tile and start your progression again. Even if the sensor is in ready mode, you can still look at those retakes, you know? You can click on those tiles that you retook on the fly and identify which image you prefer. I retake my FMX 18 images on the fly as I go. And then also I take this moment to assess, do I need a retake anywhere else? Uh, maybe I didn't get the distal of something. Um, I've got a, a, a bite wing that's cone cut. So let's choose the left molar bite wing to retake it. Let's just highlight whatever image needs to be retaken and choose the take 
retake. That way it won't progress to the next tile. It's only going to take that one image. Start, yep, and then it's going to sensor is going to be ready. We're going to take the image. And now I've got that number two there. Uh, the one that's highlighted blue is my latest image, the one that's on top. Hopefully one's better than the other, and I can simply double click to choose which image I prefer. The other great thing here is if I needed to flip any of these, I can use this black border and let those images kind of hang out while I drag and drop them, you know, where they need to be. If this image really belongs here and that image belongs there, I can just left hold and quickly and easily rearrange them. If I see something on an image that if I want to look at it in a little bit closer mode, just double click and we'll open up that image to the enhancement screen. I can quickly close out of that with the close in the upper right hand corner. But when you are done taking your images, you've taken all of your retakes as you went, you've assessed your layout uh, at the end and decided to retake those that you needed to. When you're done, please press the done button, the green check mark done. And at that time, just pay attention to the status change in the lower right hand corner. It's preparing to send, preparing to send. I've got, you know, quite a few images here, 21 images. It's good. It might take it, you know, another 10 or 15 seconds, but it doesn't hinder you in your process. You can double click on the image and start showing your patient their images. Use your computer keyboard arrows to navigate through. Use the arrows above go back that go down and to the left and to the right. And now that status is now idle. So that's changing. You don't have to stand there and watch it. You just want you to be informed about it. That's going to push those images all the way out to your cloud-based server and make them accessible. The go back button is gonna go back to the previous screen. When you're done with your patient, the save and go home, it's not really saving, they're already saved. It's just going home. And this little green arrows, you know, you can save and go back. But you can flip that to save and go home. I wanna show you how to quickly view those FMX 18s we just took. View images when you bridge over from your practice management software, your patient's name will auto-populate. Let's just pull in John Doe. And so here's the dates of acquisition. You see the small arrow above study date that rearranges your most recently. Now it's August 22nd. Click that again. I'm on November 14th. So whether I choose to show my thumbnails or not, you know, also you might, your images may come in ungrouped. They may come in like this, just group those images. So here's my FMX 18. Uh, I don't need those thumbnails. I know the date. I know the time. I can double click and it's going to tell me that that is an FMX 18. I can expand and collapse that. So whether you show the thumbnails or not, click on view study and that's going to bring those images back up to where we were. And again, you can just double click on any image to get into your image enhancements. You can highlight, you see now that's active or simply double click and we're back here to our image enhancements. Just a quick overview of taking your FMX 18 and viewing it.